$39.99. This could be us. It's the wish we done. Oh, it's done. Ding. Hi guys, here I have with me is a red vintage scarf. Did not destroy your houses. I saw it with my own eyes. Stop denying. No, no, I saw it. Stop lying. You blocked your eyes. I would never dream of committing such a violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Come here, come here, come. Watch this, watch this. I will choose. gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, your faces will glow with wonder as you witness the wonderful world of fairy tales. Welcome to... Where is it? Where is it? What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to find my lucky hat for the show. Can you stop? We're currently live on air right now. Oh, uh... I found it. Finally! Okay. What's your hands, everyone? You, what do you think we're doing? Get over here, my God. Oh, something. Light going. You, what's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, oh, everything's ready? Everything's fine? Okay. Let's go, so we're ready. Let's go. You ready? You ready? Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Today, your faces will glow with wonder. As you witness the wonderful world of fairy tales. Welcome to the story after the fairy tale story. Have you ever wondered what happens after happily ever after? Is it always a happy ending or are there a few details that we did not know? In this show, we will be looking into the ordinary lives of our not so ordinary folks who live right here in Fairyland. Really? I've always wanted to meet Cinderella. Do you think I can get her autograph? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? You would just have to watch and see. Let's take the end the magical stories. Of the stories that are magical. Of a little girl who wears a red cape. Little Red Riding Hood. Of three little pigs and their housing problem. The Big Bad Wolf. Of the... Monster Slaying Action as the three other pig battles the Wooltron robot in a bone-crushing cage match. Who is the toughest of them all? They'll huff and they'll puff and they'll blow you all away. Ah. We are not doing that. But in the script. Look, we talked about this before. Okay, I know. But my idea is really good. Daniel! No, no, no. It's really good, okay? We just have to think about it. We'll go into a short commercial break as we, the narrators, get our studio back into order. More fairy tales coming your way. For the language, we will be making a famous recipe of mine, which is brew. Chop up some fine scorpion, a dash of florida. A sprinkle of toenails and my secret favorite ingredient. What is what it? Is it? A chunk of hot sugar. Yum! Ah, 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 ah. Are you tired of getting warts on your face? Mm. Uh, ah! Are you tired of those pesky heroes taking your gold? Mommy! Or, are you, are just, you just tired, tired all, all the time? time? Fear no more, we got your back! For just thirty nine ninety nine, this could be us. I repeat, just thirty nine ninety nine. It's, it's the, the Wish Be Gone! gone. <gasps> just make a wish and... Poof, it's gone! Grab yours today! Run! It's a stampede! The game!
In this episode of WWFL, aka Wow Wow Fellas, we will be studying the unique behaviors of these creatures we call dragons. Today is the chance to meet up with them up close and personal. Over here, we have the dragon. Oh no, we've been spotted! Run, run, run! This is emergency fairy tale news report, special report, now reporting. Good afternoon. We are coming to air right now because the villains are back again. Uh, nothing good ever comes out of this no goody. Two shoes. Uh, interesting insert the reporter one. Thank you. Reporter two. So do they or do they not wear shoes? That is the question. Back to the studio for more live coverage. Take it away, Nathas. Love you. Love you. Oh, embarrassing me. Enjoy me. Enjoy me. I love you. Narita. I love you, Narita one. I love you, Narita two. Fairy box. Can I have a small uh, unicorn and fairy dust and few shepherds, you know? Make it decaf and add soy. I'm on a diet. Do you accept payment by fairy now, fairy wave, or fairy la? Oh. <coughs> oh. Wait. Are we on? What? I'll call you back later. And we are back. For the food test joined us. Welcome to the story after the fairy tale story. Where we expose the entire fairy tale community for. First up, we have the curious tale of Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, it's about a girl who wanders through the forest in order to go to her grandma's place, only to find a wolf in her grandma's clothing. Such a tragic tale. Or is it? We have an exclusive interview. Let's take a look. What really happened atop the cabin? At the edge of the forest one fateful afternoon, the story begins in Grandma's cabin, fairy tale land where a girl named Little Red Riding Hood found her grandmother dead. Hello everybody, we have with us here today, Grandmother. Hello, hello, can you see me? Hello? Are you, ah, okay, you're too close to the camera. I need to move behind. Move behind. Okay, ladies. Uh, that's too bad. Okay, uh, forward a little bit. Forward. Okay, ladies. No, no, no. Right, right. Right. Okay, ladies. Uh, left, left. Okay, left. Ladies. Center, center. Go center. Center. Okay. Hi. Hi, yo. So easy. Why you never say? Sorry. It must be a shock to all the viewers to see Grandmother here with us today. How are you? I'm fine, darling. We all heard the stories and you're presumed to be dead. What happened? Oh, where do I begin? My little red riding hood, she lied! Are you sure? Yes, she is the real monster in this story. What makes you say so? She would often eat all the big goods that her mother would make for me. Mine, all of it mine. Wow, oh, this smells so good. Mother is such a good baker. And it's so generous of grandmother to let me have this. Oh, she's so nice. She would hang out in the forest all day long. Hello? What? The three little pigs and Mr. Wolf are going to court? 
who is the judge? What happened? You have to tell me everything. I, huh? What? Oh, it's time to go home? I don't think so. Ugh. And the red scarf that she's wearing? That is mine. She stole it from me. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the texture. I love... Let me just try it on. I'm so pretty. Oh my god. Well, grandmother wouldn't miss this anyways. It looks so much better on me. What a bad literate writing would. If things don't go her way, she would often throw tantrums. These are some serious allegations, grandmother. The viewers want to know what actually happened that day. It's simple. The large fangs that you hear in the stories, those were my dentures for me to bite into the cookies. The fur was for a blanket for the cold winter afternoon that day. So, are you saying you were the wolf? Yeah lah. Oh, wow, what a turn of events. You heard it here first. The stories you hear about literate Riding Hood were not true. Thank you, Grandmother, for being brave and come up with this story. Back to you at the studio. Let me tell you more about my Little Red Riding Hood. Well, that solves it. Little Red Riding Hood is a girl who cried wolf. Wait, 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 wait. I have reports. They're on site. We have a reporter with footage on Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, can you give us some comments? Um, excuse me, who are you? Oh, the whole author that can you story. You are well, accused of being colliant and thief. <gasps> Oh my god! You whatever, get out of my face! Um, wolf, I see wolf there. It's a really good. Wait. I guess that solves the case of little bit riding hood. Let's go over to our next interesting tale of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. The same wolf. Let's watch to find out as the proceedings are underway at the fairy tale court. About to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here. I did not destroy your houses. It was you I saw with my own eyes. No, you should get your eyes checked then. There's no Ever commit such an atrocity? Mr. Wolf, you are here to prove to the three little pigs that you did not destroy their houses. Is that correct? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Your Honor. <coughs> claim that you have been in an ongoing spat with the three little pigs over your lands, and the activations were a tactic used by the three of them to get back at you. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Your Honor. <coughs> Three little pigs, you claim that Mr. Wolf here was the perpetrator behind your destroyed properties and seeking damages claims of ten thousand fairy dollars. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. Alright, three little pigs, what happened to your houses? Your Honor, we live in houses that were painstakingly built. I had built mine with straws. I had built mine with sticks. In this report, it says here that you that you three are currently living with pig three here who had built his house with bricks. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. Our house was built with straws and sticks, were destroyed. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, it says here that you submitted an evidence that disputes the claims made by the three little pigs. <coughs> yes, <coughs> that is correct. <coughs> It says here that you are currently battling a medical condition. <coughs> yes, <coughs> I have been living with <laughs> asthma. <laughs> An asthmatic wolf? That's a lie. I don't believe it. It's not possible. There's no such thing as an asthmatic wolf. How can it be? The medical report states that I'll be <gasps> unfit to <gasps> huff <gasps> and huff <gasps> and blow <laughs> their houses down. So, case closed? Are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to find out if you can blow down a house of straw. 
Uh, all right. Back to our segment. And in the curious case, so. Thanks to the story after the fairy tale story. If you guys have any more stories to share with us, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to us here at the story after the fairy tale story. As we will be looking more into the ordinary lives of all not so ordinary folks who live right here in Fairyland. Goodbye. <laughs>